Okay, first of all, excuse the darkness and rainy. It's a dark, rainy day here. Almost Halloween. But they, the reason I'm making this video, I got a few comments my last video I did, I think a couple years ago, last year, two years ago, about the JTS shotgun. Palmetto, Palmetto State Armory is, uh, they had a sale on these for like 250 bucks, which is a damn good deal. Cause I overpaid for this years ago. It was like four five, six hundred dollars something like that. So if you can get this gun for 250 bucks, definitely do it. But I'm pretty sure they're out of stock. Someone said, uh, so we're going to shoot a few mags here. I have loaded up and we'll kind of just get over the gun as we shoot very quickly because it is getting dark insanely quick here. So I'll go over some of the good things, the bad things, and we'll see how it runs real quick. The ammo that we're going to be using, which is important for guns like this. This is all cheap birdshot stuff. I intentionally brought this out to show you how the gun runs with cheap ammo. That's what a lot of people do. They want to shoot it for cheap. Like two and three quarter inch buckshot high brass stuff is the best in these guns. Good for defense or whatever. Just plinking. Uh, there'll probably be a few jams. The Winchesters, they work very good. Probably about the best. These are the worst. I got them. This was I got these during like COVID. These are I got like <laughs> probably a, over a thousand. These are estate shot shells. Uh, I think they actually work pretty decent. This gun. I know my Silver Eagle does not like these. They just don't have enough oomph. But the Winchesters do work pretty good. Winchesters, the Remingtons, and the Federals work about the best. And let me get set up real quick, and then we'll go over a couple things with the gun, and we'll do some shooting. Okay, first we'll go over just the basic, what it comes with. These are factory iron sights. Pretty sure this was like the only thing that have ever come loose on this gun with these, the sights. Everything else, pretty tight. The stock does not expand or collapse. Standard AR fire control. Uh, mag release, bolt release, uh, fire safety. Same trigger, same grip. You probably can swap them out. AR stuff. Charging handle. Uh, has a piston system up here. And the bolt's pretty beefy. One thing I noticed with this gun, when it does get dirty, it does not like to run. So, something to keep in mind. Keep this lubed up here. And let's get a couple shots. Importantly, let's see. People always think I'm shooting myself in the head when I'm doing this part. I assure you I'm not at that point in my life yet. So you probably can't see that. There's numbers on here. It goes 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 0 shuts the gas block off. That's single shot. And there's a little ball indicator down there. I think it just goes to 3. Yeah. It just goes to 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So 3 is wide open for bird shot. 2, buck shot. 1, pike, slugs. Zero single shot. I think I only have four rounds in this mag here. These are 10 round mags, some of the other ones. I'll go over where you can get them in a minute here. All right, let's see. All right, you guys can see. Let's go for a milk jug down there. Did I seriously miss that? <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Just shot right over it, I guess. Go for turkey. That turkey. Go for dinger. There, she locked open, so ran that four good. Okay, move a little closer here. We'll try these 10 round mags. These are from JTS website. If you go to JTS shotguns, firearms, I can put the link in the description if you need them. They sell them from the website, they're affordable. And one good, other good thing about this, this takes Remington 870 choke tubes. This is actually a bore blaster on here. So it's supposed to be like a kind of a good in between type choke. Sure, now it falls down. Let me move a little closer, see if, let's see if this works. Chambered good. Okay, let's just stick around. <laughs> there we go. Let's try turkey point blank. Yeah. Yeah, I caught some BBs on that one. Smoke some pot. And another water jug. 
She's still running. Uh. Oh yeah. Pretty sure I have a BB in my leg from that plate. I'm gonna stand back, it sucks. Ooh, oh shit, I broke my board. All right, well there's the jam there. I kind of, that might have been me, kind of, I was kind of holding it like one-handed. But I did break my board though. Hmm. Uh, let's just, uh... there we go. So that one was probably just me. Like a lot of the semi-autos, you can't really do this one-handed. They just don't cycle like the. You have to have it tied up against your shoulder. Just lit up a few more. Okay, I moved backwards a little bit safer because that BB actually did break my skin. <laughs> it fucking hurt. This is bird shot though. All right, so we got more Winchesters. We got five rounds here. Let's see if they all run. Oof. So far, so good. So since I'm here, we'll see what kind of spread that has. So we got 10 more rounds of this shit estate. So it closes. Now let's just check out the spread on this thing. Okay, you probably can't really tell, but it was a hell of a spread. So this board blaster, I don't know, man. She's a little, a little wide. Let's go, whoa. let's shoot that post over here. So we got 10 rounds still in here. Let's see. Yep, there we go. That one didn't. Oh. Like I said, this is birdshot ammo too, so. I to keep pushing that pot down there. There you go. Ran all except the one. A little hiccup there. Yeah. Got one more mag left. Yeah, let's play kick the can down the road. So we got 10 more. This is, like I said, this out of state ammo is crap. <laughs> all right. Let's finish this mag off real quick. Ow. In the face. <laughs> there we go I think this pot has been smoked JTS ran great that was 40 rounds only one real jam the other one was my fault I didn't have against my shoulder I was trying to like shoot was I shooting a turkey I'm trying to hide that was my fault so like I said that's the cheapest crappiest ammo that you can shoot out of a shotgun and one jam I said i wouldn't use this for home defense it just i mean yeah they're pretty reliable it's if, if it's all you got sure but when it comes to home defense i like a a pistol i got like a cz scorpion something like that high ammo capacity controllable reliable but regardless what you get or use take it out in range and just shoot the crap out of it man you want to make sure if you're gonna trust your life and your family's life on it it has to work so that being said for 250 bucks it's made in china it's chineseium it is what it is i enjoy it like i said i the only time i use this and my silver eagle just come out here and just blow shit away that's all i use this for and it's a lot of fun and everybody anytime we go out shooting we always take one of these out and everybody loves it so there it is if you I hope this helped if you have any questions I think my phone cut out right at the end there. But if you have any questions, where to get mags, or any other questions about any kind of firearms, feel free to reach out and ask. I always try to respond to every single comment. All right, thanks, guys.